guys, so this is another episode of Disaster Report. I don't know what number it is, actually. So, you might notice the game looks a little bit different now. That's because I went ahead and changed some of the settings on the emulator. And we actually have proper graphics displays. Like, we have a cursor now. Amazing. Um, oddly enough, for some reason, on the graphics synthesizer, it said that um, it was set to the default settings. And so I, I naturally assumed that, oh, well, you know, I'll probably detect it in my GPU and all that and just set it to run on there. Well, uh, apparently it didn't, and I had to manually set that up. So we now have decent-looking graphics, much better than before. It also runs more smoothly, I've noticed. So let's talk to Baldy. Hey, Mr. Clean, what do you have to say for yourself? Mr. Clean? He's not talking. Did the helicopter drop something? No, Karen, it didn't drop something. I'm, you know, I've always had this giant backpack on, Karen. Oh, God. This is all I get from these people. Oh, well, now he talks. The helicopter dropped something. Yeah, it did, you fucking morons. My god. Okay, well, I guess... Mm, I guess we gotta look around. Because Ke Karen and William certainly aren't going to help us. <laughs> These guys are just... Probably some of the most useless NPCs I've seen in a video game. Well... Maybe that's stretching it, actually. Because at least they don't hinder me. Well, aside from William riding on my back, that was a little... A little useless there. Swim, motherfucker. This will never cease to entertain me. Keith Helm, reporter. MacGyver, Olympic swimmer. Alright, I guess maybe if we look around in the bathrooms here. I really don't want to see any more of these creepy Japanese bathrooms. No offense if you're Japanese and you're watching us. I'm sure you think American bathrooms are creepy. And they are. Rightfully so. Alright, let's get in here. What the... What fuckery is this? Oh no, this is one of those hole-in-the-ground bathrooms. Isn't it? Oh, no, there's a door. Come on. Come on, Keith. You failure. Oh, wow. I guess maybe we can't open that door. We can't open that door. Maybe there's a compass in there, but I really don't want any compass that I would find in the bathroom. That's that's just me, but <laughs> toilet compass. All right, so here is another pathway. Oh, I guess I just leave their asses. Oh, there's a dude in the boat. Are you alone? <laughs> I'm alone. Yeah, I'd like to give that answer. There's more. Okay, uh, go get him. I'll be finishing preparations. All right, thank you, rescue dude. I actually read about this part a little bit. Where I, where I was talking to someone about the game. And this, this part came up. So I kind of know what's going to happen. I assure you, it will be entertaining. All right, come on. Keep moving. I know once we get in the water, like, friggin' Aquaman here will start booking it. His actual running speed is a little... Oh, uh-oh. Oh, shit. Not good. And that, now I'm disoriented. Great. Okay, oh, we gotta go that way. 
So I guess we have to avoid these whirlpools. I think that's a big guy. You know, get sucked in and die quite hilariously. Are you okay? Yeah. Nah. I can't believe a whirlpool like that was in the lake. I should make a voice up for William. I should have brought my camera, but we can talk. Oh, but we can walk across now if there's no water. So how was it over there? It was just peachy keen. There's a rescue team member. Oh wait, that's Keith. Oh my god. There's a rescue team member. He's waiting for us. Let's hurry. No. Really? We're saved. Hurry. Let's go. She just states it like nothing. <laughs> I'd be more happy. We're almost there, says William. Oh no. We got this guy fucking... I don't know. Dry humping me. Seems to be what he's doing. Ooh. It's nice not having to count <laughs> every click I do. <laughs> now that the cursor's gone. Oh, what's all this then? Now I thought I saw something under here. Don't get stuck in those mud puddles, be careful. Okay. Mud puddles. Why are we running so slowly? <laughs> I guess it's the terrain. Uh-oh. Ah, over here! Whoa! Oh shit. Run! Run! <laughs> no! <laughs> they got me. They always get me with that shit. I'm so horrendously bad at this game. And I know it, too. Like, I can't really take it seriously. <laughs> That's part of the problem. Ah, over here! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, we made it. Just barely. Shit. Look at this guy. He looks like a fucking dolphin with a beard. Freak of nature. I think we should just leave you on this island, dude. Alright, let's... Uh, he just runs slow as shit no matter what. Okay. It's almost the same as walking. <laughs> Alright. Let's get going. Oh, sh this is so fucking boring. I'm probably going to cut some of this out, that's for sure. For some reason, this is one of those games where you just really have to cut a lot of stuff out. It's one of the things I like about, like, 8 and 16-bit games. Like, a lot of them, unless it's like an RPG or something, a lot of times you can just have everything on screen and it's just... Constant action. Yes, it's like, oh, yeah, we're running with some weird looking bald dude on our back. Yeah, exciting. I need to take him to the boat. Please, wait here. <laughs> I need to take him to the boat. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. He took Baldy with him. That's great. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Oh no! The building and shit's gonna fall on you. Wow, he got fucking pwned. I, I can't believe this. <laughs> yeah, saddest anime death number two. see Greg around. I wonder if he was on that boat. Hey! There's Greg and he has like a little friend now. It's Misty from Pokemon. Oh, you're still here. You should have evacuated, you know. 
Who's she? I'm Kelly Austin. You haven't by chance seen a little boy around here, have you? I'm looking for my little brother. We saw a boy, but I'm not sure if it was your brother. And where's that boy now? Well, he was evacuated. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, I met the editor-in-chief of the Town Crier newspaper. You know him, huh? <laughs> that old kook is still around? I guess that's to be expected, though. Uh, where is he now? He hurt his leg and was evacuated. He's probably okay now. Oh, I see. It's probably a good chance to rest. Well, shall we go? The rescue operation at the park seems complete. Uh, yeah. Uh, how about uh, the May Stadium? It was supposed to be an evacuation center. So maybe there are some people there. It was supposed. Um, and the Stiver Island Control Center. There should be a huge heliport there. Let's head to the stadium. The control center is just on the other side of that. Um, so it should work out well. Oh, yeah. There's, you know, stadiums are the safest place you can be in an earthquake. Oh, uh, yeah. This is going to be a shit show. Well, I guess Greg's tie is no longer tucked in. It's just totally ripped. Maybe it wasn't tucked into a shirt. The settings I had were actually quite shitty, so it's possible. I've been here with Jason. Jason? You mean like the fucking psycho murderer Jason? Oh, yeah, okay, I trust you. It's so quiet. Oh, Karen. You and your amazing observations. Can I bother you for a sec? Oh, what the fuck do you want now, Greg? No, 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 what do you want now, Greg? I gotta, I gotta do my Keith voice. What? Oh, I didn't, see, I didn't do my friggin' Keith voice here. Oh, damn it. Now we're in trouble. Maybe we won't be rescued, even if we make it to the control center. We don't know what lies ahead, but we can't just leave the girls behind. Yeah, because, you know, you're probably molesting that 13-year-old over there. I won't ask you to take care of them both. Oh, my God. <laughs> phrasing, Greg, phrasing. Let me take one of them. Oh, that keeps getting worse. Which one do you want to look after? Oh, let's see which one. I, you know, we're going to take Karen because she's of legal age. You. <laughs> I'll look after you, buddy. Yeah, fuck him. Okay. I don't know, maybe I should have taken Kelly because now she's with that pervert. What were you guys talking about? Oh, we're just going to send you away with a nice man, Kelly. We were just doing some male bonding. Don't worry about it. Hey, yeah, just some, you know, blowjobs behind that pole over there. <laughs> oh, this, really, Greg, stop. What are you going to do now? Karen actually asked a question that's useful. Nice. Wait, what happened to her dog? Did she put her dog on the boat? I don't think there are any other people here. Really, Greg. Let's head on. Let's head to the exit on the other side of the stadium. It's big, so let's split up into two groups. Kelly and I will head towards the stands. You guys to the field. Oh, there's the dog. Okay. Karen, the human paperweight, always giving useful input. Oh god, this can't be good. This is like a refugee camp stadium now. Oh, there's some shit in here. Just gotta figure out how we get the shit. Alright, what's... Is it... I don't know if it's a good idea to go into the dugout here. What's this? Shin guards? 
Oh shit. I'm gonna equip this shit. That's right, Keith. Now you're ready for anything. Your shins are the safest shins in the world. I wish I still had those gloves and we'd be like a fucking beast. Oh no. And look, Greg's just walking. Like, everything's cool. Run! I know this trick. I know what this game does. Of course, nothing came to crush me this time. Figures. Juice! Sure, I'll take the juice. Yummy chips. More yummy chips. Chest card? Fuck yeah. Now you look like a real fucking man, Keith. You started out as a boy, then you became a man. Which is actually usually the progression. Oh okay, shit, we need some... Maybe I'll drink some of that juice. Oh, this game is hilarious. Okay, here's the juice. Use that shit. That's right, juice it up, Keith. Alright, so... Uh, I guess we'll go through this. Oh shit. Oh shit, just... Follow Karen. What? I ran. And I had a chest guard and shin guards on. Chest and shin guards. That should have protected me from everything. What's this? Something here. Something we missed. This water should be okay to drink. Well, you should have told me that before. Before I drank my precious juice. Now what am I going to do? Alright. This time I won't fuck up. Oh, I forgot to get my chest card. Oh shit. <laughs> what? Like, how are you supposed to compensate for this shit? just straight up kill you. Like, there's no way I can expect that. Like, I don't know. So I guess we gotta keep to one side or we're going to get impaled by giant steel girders. Whose fucking idea was this? This is friggin' Greg again. And of course the chest, the chest guard does nothing. The chest guard does nothing. Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh, and we still get knocked on our ass. Nice. Hey Karen, you cool? We have to get out! Oh fuck you! <laughs> oh my god, the dumbest shit anyone has ever said in history. Kelly's actually fucking helpful. Like, an actual decent human being? I, now I really feel bad leaving her with El Perverto. El Perverto. Oh shit, go Keith. What are you doing, Keith? <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to get through this. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be another death frenzy. And one problem with this game is you don't know when to brace and when not to. I guess we gotta get over on this shit. 
Like, if shit's falling down and rolling at you, like, okay, you gotta stop. Like, we're not stopped, but you gotta dodge it. But I gotta go through this. Yeah, will do. That's... Sounds useful. Oh, shit. I think I'm gonna drink my juice real quick. You know, you're in the middle of uh, a stadium collapsing. You might as well drink some juice. Why does all this shit fall apart? <laughs> Why does it all fall apart when you're, uh, when you're round it? Like, the stadium was fine two minutes ago. Like, I walk into it and it starts falling apart. I'm not sure that's how this shit works. Alright, so we got through that. My god, this is friggin' horrifying. Like that sound alone. Oh shit, is that the stadium? I guess what's happening is like the island's crumbling from like one end to the other maybe that's it and you're kind of like running out ahead of it i think that's the hey there's some people oh shit it's the goon <laughs> oh poor souls that's the what sir we've discovered people still here so what don't bother with them forget it but, sir, it's that newspaper reporter we saw in the executive office. What? Why didn't you say that to begin with? I can't believe he's still alive. Take care of him already. Understood, sir. What do you say we have a little fun with him? Sounds good. I guess there's two goons. The one goon they should have named Boris. That would have been great. Oh, shit. It's just like fucking hell. <laughs> oh man, this is actually pretty decent. I I have to give it to them. Like it's ridiculous, but it's cool as fuck. <laughs> Help run the missiles, Keith. I don't know how we're supposed to outrun them. Maybe if you just run straight. Oh, we're gonna get fucked up. Put a bandage on, bro. Don't worry, they'll wait for you. Okay, keep going, Keith. We can do this, buddy. They have a lot of fucking rockets on this thing, damn. We made it. We made it, guys. I guess this is the control center. Oh, of course these fuckers have to get out. Oh, the one has an RPG. <laughs> Shit. Where is it a bazooka? I can't really tell from there. This is... This can't go wrong. Oh, man. Uh, probably not a good place to be. Just saying. I think what I'm going to do is when we get to a save point, we'll, uh, we'll cut this one off. And I can't push that. Too heavy to move. Goon, fire rocket propelled grenade. Move box for you. I think my Russian accent is probably more realistic than that guy's Russian accent. Uh, 
Well, at least my frickin' shin guards and fucking chest guard are intact. As long as I have that, we're cool. I wonder if that actually protected him from those last fire hose? Use the fire hose. Uh, yeah? Oh shit. So I guess it, like, I guess maybe you can fire hose those dudes. Oh, okay, I got it. Maybe we can fire hose that. Lincoln Plaza. I think we actually have a place around me called Lincoln Plaza. Let's see. Let's try this again. Looks like he's taking a leap. A massive, massive leap. Come here, Karen. Ooh. You like that, baby? <laughs> You're a dirty girl that tears you down. Alright, enough of that. Banned from YouTube for life. Okay. Let's see. Yes, we have five Watars in each bottle. That's good. Like, I know, like, from where I am, we kind of, like, say water. And I know it's, like, water. Did I say that correctly? Water. Water. Oh, shit. They're doing shit. They're locking us in. <laughs> that's some goonish looking goon. I guess that is a bazooka. I was right. I predicted that. Hmm. I don't know how to deal with this situation. Let's save the game. Yeah, let, let's do that. So I think that's it for this episode. Um, you know, we'll deal with these goons in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will be back with more, as always. So until next time, good luck and happy gaming.